today I'm going to be showing you guys some leaks of the new things we're adding in the episode 70 part 2 update in Toilet Tower Defense. So the new Skibbity Toilet episode came out yesterday night around this time, or at least it was like almost midnight for me, but this is going to be a pretty decent sized update. Well, we're going to add another thing that people have been suggesting for a long time. So this update, we actually added the first three booster units ever, and there's only a thousand DJ TV men right now. Probably going to have a new crate when it reaches around 10,000 just so they stay rare the spider crate was up for way too long and i don't want something to be as common as the spider tv again but before i get any farther in the video and start showing leaks subscribe with the notifications on and like the video because if you don't then i'm gonna turn upside down and uh, why did that happen uh anyways let's start with the leaks so you can see the skim the toilet some weird stuff goes down like you see a sky what is this guy well from a closer inspection it seems like he is uh well he's holding the camera man so and it looks like he has two claws so this is like a dual claw toilet but extra fancy and he's not just a cool dual claw toilet no because if you look he has some sort of gun right here it's like a some weird like poison gun but actually not because it shoots fire so he, he has like poisonous decorations like that tank on the back but he has like a gun that shoots fireballs so here's what it's gonna look like in toilet tower defense this is gonna be called the balaclava spider toilet and because of that that's the thing he's wearing on his head. That is this thing right here. So this is gonna be not too strong of a toilet. He's gonna be like on nightmare and on endless mode. So nothing too crazy, but the next big thing is you see how the cameramen were sneaking right here because I don't want to be caught. Uh, uh oh, lights turned on. And there's this guy. He has a light. He does not look too happy. And he has two lasers. So this is going to be the security yard toilet. Basically, he just has two lasers. Pretty decent amount of health. And there's nothing else too crazy about him. Pretty basic toilet. But he's going to be somewhat strong because, I mean, it's getting later into the series. Probably all the new toilets we're going to add are going to at least be somewhat strong so that they're a little on nightmare more on endless because right now we already have enough random toilets on like easy medium hard so here's what he's gonna look like in toilet tower defense again pretty simple but then there's whatever this weird thing is. You see that? Oh, the weird claw guy? So he has two claws and a TV screen. So this this one's pretty weird. And he's smiling like that for some reason. I don't know why he's smiling like that. I don't know what he's doing. He's a pretty silly toilet man. But yeah, you see how the cameraman don't like it when his TV screen turns on? So this guy in Toilet Tower Defense is actually... Well, here's what he's going to look like. We're probably going to improve him a little bit before the update comes out, but pretty much he's going to have a TV screen that AOE stuns, and he's going to have two claws, essentially a stronger version of the dual claw toilet. It is not going to be anything too crazy besides his AOE stun. That is going to be pretty powerful if you let him get close to your toilets. You do not want to let him get close, I mean, not to your toilets, to your units. But this will most likely be on Nightmare, Endless, and maybe even a little on Hard Mode. It's going to be a bit stronger than the Dual Claw Toilet. The Dual Claw Toilet is the weakest stunning unit, though, so saying it's a bit stronger is not really saying too much. It's definitely not going to be one of the strongest toilets. I know that for sure. So the strongest toilet in this update is probably going to be the Security Yard Toilet. There were only three new toilets. No new bosses or anything really strong like that. But now for the new units. So let me find those. So if we look right here, you see this guy, you see this guy right here, he has a spear. So we have the Dark Speaker Man, which is a legendary, and then we have the Jetpack Speaker Man, which is pretty much the Jetpack Cameraman, but this guy, because he had a Jetpack at one point, but then he got a Bat at one point, so then we added the Bat Speaker Man, but now, look at what he has, he had a spear, so we are adding the Spear Cameraman. It's gonna be like the Bat Speaker Man, but he has a bit more range, because, I mean, spears are, like, longer and stabby, kind of not like a bat, and it still attacks around the same speed, so he's gonna be, like, a bit better of the bat cameraman here's another angle you can kind of see the shape of the spear a little better and then look the, the, the pov cameraman got the backpack and the pov cameraman is actually the mace guy because if you look right here he has the mace and then he starts flying so that can only mean one thing i bet you guys can guess what we're adding so we have the mace cameraman 
But what if instead of the maze cameraman, it was the jetpack maze cameraman? So we're gonna have the jetpack maze cameraman. Also, the green laser cameraman and the normal maze cameraman are gonna be gone from the exclusive unit shop this update. I don't know if Evan's gonna add the timer or when he's gonna add it if he does, but I just wanna let you guys know that too. So basically, there are gonna be a couple new units this update, or actually more than a couple, like, like four. The other new unit is something that we've been getting asked for for a while, but I'm not gonna say it yet. It's gonna be kind of a surprise. I don't remember if I said it in a previous video, but if I did, then, um, only some people will know. I don't know. But that is gonna be pretty cool. So this update isn't super, super massive, but next update, we're actually planning to add another crate. It's probably also gonna be for gems, so we're gonna have, like, two crates, and then I guess the booster crate can just be removed when we add this one, but it is actually gonna be the Titan, the, the injured titan crate and i'm not gonna show anything in it yet i'll do a leaks video for the next update later but that's gonna have three titans in it one of them is gonna be one person so it's actually gonna be a little more gems than the current crate because i mean it is titans that kind of makes sense so if you like save up more gems then you can get that instead of this one i think it's gonna make demand and gems rise more because right now if you go to the trading plaza even though a lot of like websites say things are worth a certain amount of gems people usually have less gems for it because i mean gems are really not that crazy demand right now because they can only be used to buy one crate but now that we're adding a titan crate for gems i think gems are going to be traded a bit more so not only will it improve the economy but it will be cool because then we'll have a few more variants of titans and also the post office is going to be here next update um i'm not going to show the ui for it yet but i i spent a few hours doing that and i also spent a few hours making another ui that you guys are going to find out and it is really Related to the secret unit that I did not mention what it is. So that's gonna add like a whole new feature to the game too. I think you guys are gonna like it. It's something that's in a lot of tower defense games, but we do not have it yet. So adding that is gonna make it a bit more fun to play, add a bit more to the strategy. But I was originally planning to, okay, this update, I thought the new Skibbity Toilet episode would be out like maybe Sunday or Monday or something like that, just because of like the upload pattern of the previous few episodes, but it was out earlier than I I thought because originally I was wanting to add like two new units that were not in the episode and both of them were gonna be like big new units that not not like just simple ones that we already have a system implanted in the game for like they would do completely new things and also one of them would be like a reward for being top 100 on the leaderboard like I, I was playing that and also the new infected or not infected but injured Titan crate but um, we definitely don't have enough time for that unless if we do the update on some weird day so i'm thinking we do this update tomorrow or not tomorrow on a sunday on sunday so actually yeah it is tomorrow because it's like midnight right now but this update will be tomorrow and then the next update that has that other big new unit and the injured titan crate will be the next skibbity toilet episode which is either going to be like 70 part 3 or episode 71 part 1 Whichever one's the next one is gonna have all of that. So the next update will be even larger. This update will have something really cool with a new feature, but it won't be an insanely large update. Or actually, I, I guess it is because the post office is also a new feature. So there are gonna be like two new features this update. So uh, yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything we're planning to add to the update. Oh yeah, one more thing, the marketplace, the marketplace. So that is actually not coming this update, but I wanna mention it because that's the only other thing coming soon because the post office is coming soon in the lobby. The market Marketplace is coming soon in the Trade Plaza. Maybe if we have enough time, because I mean, it's probably gonna be like another week before a new Skibbity Toilet episode is out, and the other big new unit, Evan can probably finish scripting within the next couple days, and then the Injured Titan crate will also probably take a couple days, so we should have a few days left after everything else is ready for the next update, so then maybe Evan can at least like start on the Marketplace. I'm not too sure how long it will take to script, but from what I know about scripting Marketplaces, it's a server-wide marketplace, not a global one though, so it's not gonna be as hard, but it still is gonna be pretty hard because we gotta prevent duping and stuff. We do not want stuff to get duplicated because that would ruin the economy really bad. We only had issues with the duping in the very beginning, I think, with some engineers. And every now and then, duped engineers still disappear a little bit, unfortunately. Well, I mean, they, they shouldn't be duped, so it's kind of good they disappear, but at the same time, if someone trades for one and then it just disappears, that's kind of unfair. So we really do not want any duplication stuff happening again. That would not be good, but um, I'll, I'll tell Evan to make sure or to try to 
make sure he scripted it where there is like zero possibility of duping. But this update's gonna be really big for that because giveaways are gonna change. Whenever I do streams in the future, I can give away like signed units in the post office. It's gonna be really convenient, really good for giveaways. Just also make sure you don't get scammed. I added like a big warning at the bottom saying that it's for gifts only. Don't send anything expecting anything back or expecting it to get signed or like whatever. So just remember the post office is only for gifts. Do not use it for anything else. There's a high chance that you'll get scammed if someone's like, hey, give me this and then I'll give you something back better. Like, no, nope, that is probably most likely 99.99% .99 a scam. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. So like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.